listed in a French stock market in Paris, but it's also family owned and family managed. It has been founded in 1963 by François Pinault, so more than 55 years ago, and now the chairman and CEO is François Henri Pinault, his son. I'm saying that because when you are family owned and family controlled, you actually think long term. It's all about the vision and about the commitment and the long term. And we know at Caring that luxury takes time literally takes time, and I think that's relevant for tonight, you know, conversation around the, the watches industry, and when we talk about a brand like Louis Sardin, which is going to soon celebrate two century. So we know that everything takes time, and that's an important point for us. The fast-moving digital landscape that is upending consumption habits. And number three, a new generation of consumers who seem more interested in traveling than acquiring a badge of prestige for their wrist. I'm adding, in addition, the recent problems in Hong Kong, one of the most important markets for luxury watches, roughly 20%, 11% of Ishmael sales, 10% of Swatch sales, has already caused major uh, disruptions at the retail level, and a decline in the watch sales in Hong Kong of almost 6% since the beginning of the year. Um, I would say we continue to disrupt with the design, with the movement, with the materials we use, but what is very recent, and I think the influence of Kering, the influence probably also of the fashion uh, brands of Kering, is that the iconography of the brand, I would say the design, the merchandising, and the experience we bring to our customers match with the innovation and the disruption we, we carry in the product. You know, one of the biggest challenges that we could have had here in, in the US, and a big question that's out there from the investment community is uh, you know, there's many uh, UK businesses that have come over to the US and, and gone back with their tail between their legs and, and many US businesses that have gone to the UK or gone to other markets and done the same. Uh, that's why I think uh, the acquisition of uh, mayors uh, was really great for us because what we got with that was uh, a group of people that were on you know, back office teams, strong executives that already understood uh, the US market and uh, able to support us with, with all of these store openings. So that certainly uh, could have been uh, our, our biggest challenge. Uh, I think for us, you know, again, for us to grow, we, we, we've got to continue to, you know, if we just, as I said earlier, if we just take sales from uh, other retailers in New York or Florida, then that's not going to work for us. We really do have to grow the market. We have to add new customers in. We believe in that.